Good morning and nice to see you when the sun is shining after all that stormy weather that we had last night. It's always a pleasure to welcome you to 3 Plus U and a Friday to boot. So lucky for us. We're going to kick the show off this morning with our good friend Jake Self, who is here. I always say happy Hiller. In fact, we got here at the same time this morning. Uh -huh. uh, you were pulling in the parking lot. I was already here and I came inside and I said the happy Hiller truck is in the parking you lot. You saw a smiley face. I saw a smiley face, uh, but really it's Hiller plumbing, heating, cooling and electrical. Yes, ma'am. So today we're focusing on the electrical because we are heading into storm season, Jake. Mm -hmm. So this is the time to talk about generators, right? Yes, whole home generators. Okay, are they, does everyone need to have one? That's personal preference. What are you going to do when the power goes out and how long is that power going to be out for? So, okay, if you're going to have a generator, mm -hmm. do you have to have a lot of room? Like, where do you keep the generator? So we're talking whole home generators, and so they're going to take up a little bit of real estate, so you need some space on the outside of your house somewhere. We like to try to get it by close proximity to where you'll have gas and your electrical meter, so we can do most of our work in that vicinity. Okay, uh, tell me how big it is in relation to, say, an HVAC system. It's probably two times the size of a regular HVAC system. Oh, wow, it is some good bit yep. of space. Yeah. Well, I guess, you know, so you have, sometimes you have what we call our split systems that look like a three-foot square, and then you have the larger package units. It's going to be in between those two sizes. Okay. Once you've purchased a general, for, okay, when they call you, mm -hmm. and they say, okay, I, saw, I heard you talk about this, Jake. What do I need to know? Call and ask, them, ask us to come out and do a free estimate. Let's go out and see what your needs are because everybody's needs are going to be different. Okay. And there's a couple different sizes when it comes to those generators and we want to make sure we know what you need. Do you want the whole house to be bright and the only thing bright on the street or do you want your <laughs> necessities to be taken care of? Okay. If you have um, life-saving equipment that you need power on all the time or do you have medications that have to be refrigerated? Do you want to make sure just your refrigerator and a couple of your circuits of your house are going to be covered? Okay, so I tend to be that person who thinks, well, I don't have any trees in my yard that might take down my right. power lines. That's not the point, because my power lines Connect are determined by, right. Down the road. Right. Mm -hmm. um, is it always, and it's always an electrical issue that would determine the need to use that generator, right? Like Correct. if your gas went out, your electric is still going to work. Correct. I know I'm asking you stupid yep. questions, no, but I don't good. know this You're good. Thing. You're good. Yep. Okay. I'm going to really tip my toe in the water. Mm -hmm. We've all been watching, right, with these unidentified things flying overhead, and nobody knows what they are and what they're doing. Right. Right? So if, there were, if, if we were to reach a point where there was some kind of a, not a, not a natural occurrence that took your power out, but some kind of targeted thing right. that took power out, will the generator still work? Yes. So as soon as your power goes off in your house, the local power utility board cuts power or whatever has happened, then that generator gets a signal saying, hey, this house has no more power, and it kicks on and starts running. It's automatic. Yep. So, yep. okay, so you come out and you do the free estimate mm -hmm. for people, and you say, I think you would need this one. Mm -hmm. Then how long will it take to get it and install it? So depending on the size, we're readily available in what they call the 22 kW heater or sorry, generator, and that covers most houses. And that'll cover up to 100 amps worth of service. So your normal house has right around 200 amps in your panel. So we gotta figure out what do you need? Okay. Probably want that refrigerator so nothing goes bad. Right. Do you have a freezer full of meat? We probably need to make sure that's covered. Okay. Most of your lighting circuits will be able to be covered. And then depending, do you have gas appliances or do you have all electric appliances? And that's where we start deciding what all do you feel that you need on 100% of the time and what can you live without if the power is going to be out for an extended point of time. Okay, so like we have gas appliances. Yep. We have a gas stove, I have a gas water heater. So would I have... You're probably only going to need that 22 kW because okay. you're... Do you have gas heat as well? Maybe, maybe not. I don't not. know. That's, that's always... Yes, depending. I do have gas okay. heat. So now your heat's covered, and a lot of times that's going to have your biggest amp draw is if you had electric heat. So you might be able to have a 22K dub, and your house will shine bright 
if the power ever went out in your neighborhood. Okay. When, when you purchase a generator, mm -hmm. is the investment simply in the purchase of that generator or is there a monthly bill associated with it when no. you use it? No. So it's just the purchase? Purchase. Like your well, I guess, sorry, your monthly bill would be the gas that it takes. So it's going to be hooked up to your natural gas meter and what your gas draw is going to be from that. But only when you're using it? Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it kind of is a wash because if you've lost all your power, yep. you're just going to change your power source. Yep. Got it. Yep. Um, you talked last time about those surge protectors. Mm -hmm. If, but that, it, they're not, if you have the surge protectors, that's going to keep you from losing power in your house for your, on your part, like on your error, right? That's going to make sure you, yeah, your error and or make sure if the power gets knocked out from lightning or whatever that you, none of your appliances get ruined. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So, that's what it so is. So now your power is all the way out. How are we going to restore that power? And whole home generator is one source of doing that. Do y'all ever do things like kind of package deals in a way? If somebody came, if you went to someone's house and they were going to do the surge protecting with you. And Absolutely. The, it's yeah. better that's, to do it all at once. Yeah, that's the great thing about having all three trades. If you have a lot of uh, projects coming up that you want to address, then yeah, we can bundle it and schedule accordingly. You referenced the smiley face on the truck. Mm -hmm. That really is an important part of your imaging, right? Absolutely. You want people to know yep. that this doesn't have to be a frightening yep. thing. Yep. And all of our technicians and everybody that comes to your house should be greeting you with a smile. Well, I am glad that you greeted us with a smile this morning, and I'm glad those storms are behind us, but there will be more to come. Absolutely. Um, and you said in terms of the install, it just all depends on what size they get. What size and your yard. Are we going to have to re-landscape a little bit to yeah. get this thing to fit, or do you have a location already picked out that it makes sense? Well, this is the time to be doing it because your flowers haven't come up yet. There you go. So if you're going to have to do some landscaping, do it while everything is not pretty. So. Thank you, Jake. You're very welcome. Here's Thank how you. you can find that smiling faces at happyhiller.com. The phone number is 481-9180. You heard Jake say that they kind of do it all there, which is why their name is Hiller Plumbing, Heating, Cooling, and then of course today, Electrical. Thank you. Thank you.